C18 screen navigation. The user interface of the C18 has been updated starting with Base53 and above software. If you are currently using an existing Ruby 2 or Topaz 410, their user interface will also be upgraded beginning at Software Base 53. The main login screen will ask you to press enter or touch screen. Touching the screen will cause the ID and password prompts to appear. The C18's sales user interface has been designed to maximize use of its 18-inch monitor. Primary functions on the left part of the screen are the same for Ruby 2, Topaz 410, and C18. However, the extra space on the right side of the C18 allows the user to enable the utility panel. The utility panel can be disabled, providing the user more space for primary functions. The utility panel is only available on the C18 point of sale. At initial launch, the utility panel will feature a fuel filter panel that will allow you to actively monitor due sales, calling pumps, fueling pumps, and pump errors. Each of the filters at the top of the utility panel can be turned on or off by touching the respective filter tab. The do filter will show any fueling positions that have do sales on them. The approve filter will show any fueling positions that are calling in for approval. The fuel filter will show any fueling positions that are actively fueling. And the error filter will show any fueling positions that are experiencing an error. As an example, when the Do tab is on, it will display all fueling icons that have Do sales on them. If the tab is off, it will filter or hide the fueling icons that have Do sales on them. If there is activity on the tab that has been turned off, the tab will show a yellow bar at the top indicating activity on the tab. In this example, pumps that are calling in and pumps that have errors on them are shown. There are pumps that are fueling, but they are not displayed because the filter is turned off. If the fuel filter is turned on by pressing the fuel tab, all fueling icons that match that filter would then appear on the panel. This is an example of a configured sales screen. You will notice some improved features. At the top of our image, we have multiple screen tabs set up. The tabs are used to navigate between sales screens. The fuel panel buttons change color to indicate activity. Tapping the buttons brings up the fuel banner with more options. The sales screen now supports swiping. Swipe right or left to view more sales buttons or screen tabs on the touch screen. You can now scroll up and down on the virtual receipt area to see all items in the transaction. Pressing on items will provide more options related to the transaction, such as void line, add tax exempt, change quantity, discount, price change, and modify. A numeric keypad can be accessed by pressing the related icon that is in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. The keypad can be moved by press and holding the top of the keypad, then dragging your finger across the screen. The numeric keypad can be closed by touching the X that is at the top right corner of the box. There is also an option to fix the virtual keypad in place in Cashier Preferences. The gear icon will bring you into Cashier Preferences. In the Cashier Preferences pane, you have the ability to orient the receipt panel on the left or the right of the screen, turn the utility panel on or off, which will give you more space for items on the screen, and fix the numeric keypad in place. The Cashier Preferences pane can be closed by pressing the X at the top right corner of the pane. The up-down arrow icon allows the user to adjust the different heights of the panels assigned to a given screen. For a panel resized to work, there should be a minimum of two panels assigned to the screen. The cashier preferences and the section height are unique per cashier and are saved on the site controller. The static rail has buttons that change based on the user's location. Functions will populate that may be useful. For example, when no sale is occurring, a cashier may see Recall to select a suspended transaction. When they begin a sale, it will change to SUSP Trans, which stands for Suspend Transaction. Thank you for watching this short video on C18 Screen Navigation.